Every four minutes in America, a woman is sexually assaulted. Almost half are teenage or younger. But for a victim of rape or incest, Sharon Engel would force her to have the baby. That may be the toughest, most pointed campaign ad of this election. And it is on a subject that the conventional wisdom says Democrats, or at least pro-choice people, are not allowed to campaign on. Joining us now is Craig Varoga. He's president of the Patriot Majority Pack, which is the group that put that ad together and is running it right now. Mr. Varoga, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, Patriot, not- sorry, Patriot Majority Pack um, is, is not specifically an abortion rights group. I know that you're generally a progressive pack. Can you tell me about the strategic thinking behind why you made that ad? Sure, absolutely. And let me, let me say that you know, we agree with you 100% that Democrats and progressives need to fight back. The reason why we did that ad is that Sharon Angle basically is trying to punish crime victims, uh, people who have been victimized by brutal crimes. She's trying to make them suffer more. And we think that that's wrong. And you're correct. It's tough and it's pointed, but it's also factual because it's based on her own words. And we want to take the fight to her, and we're going to do that over the next 30 days. How do you know um, if your ads are a Effective. What kind of metrics do you look at? Well, we look at, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, one, we follow the polls very closely. Two, we see what the responses on Facebook are. Uh, and we see, you know, what happens with online traffic. And so far, I mean, this ad's only been up for about half a day. And we've gotten a bigger response to this than anything that we've done all year. Are you getting, and, a, are you having negative and positive response or only positive response? Well, I mean, I, I think that, you know, from Democrats, it's very positive, And from people who are in favor of uh, protecting victims, it's very positive. And I think usually what will probably happen is that tomorrow, uh, you know, Angle supporters will fight back. But, you know, you know, we take that in stride because we think that uh, we need to tell the truth here. Craig, tell me a little bit about Patriot Majority. What, what is your group? How long have you been around? Who funds you? Uh, Patriot Majority has been around since 2005. We were here before the Tea Party. We'll be here after it, and we'll be here after this election. Uh, we're funded by, you know, I mean, individuals all across the country. Uh, you know, our website, you know, we seek individual contributions. Uh, you know, and we're funded by people who think that, you know, we need to, t- you know, draw a line in the sand and fight these radicals, you know, who are actually, you know, you know trying to, uh, you know, undo the progress that we've made as a country. The common wisdom um, is that pro-choice people uh, do not campaign on that issue. Pro-choice politicians don't campaign on that issue. You almost never hear it come up during elections uh, unless it's brought up by people who are anti-abortion, people who are in the pro-life camp. Uh, You have shown with this ad that that doesn't have to be the case. I see this as a very effective ad. It'll be interesting to see what effect it has on the race there. Uh, Given that you have sort of broken the mold on this, are there other issues that the common wisdom says progressives can't campaign on, but you think they can? Well, when you look at what's going on in the election this year, the Republican Party not only has been taken over by the Tea Party, it's been taken over by people who want to get rid of Social Security, who want to get rid of Medicare. And in some people, including Sharon Angle, basically have said that there should be an armed insurrection in case you know, if they lose the election, which we think that they will. Uh, I mean, we're going to take all of those things on because we think that, I mean, you know, one, we think a majority of Americans agree, uh, you know, with the position that we have, and we think they disagree with these candidates, you know, who in fact are actually very very radical. Are there other candidates, other races that you're specifically planning on focusing on for these elections? Well, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at a lot of races, and I think certainly that, uh, I mean, you know, people have seen some of the, you know, extreme candidates, you know, like Christine O'Donnell and others, uh, you know, who, I mean, in any other election in any other year, uh, you know, they wouldn't even have a seat at the table. And they're actually, uh, you know, they're, they're at the doorstep of the nation's capital. Uh, and, you know, the message that we have, if you go back to that ad, is that these people are too dangerous to have real power over real people. And we're taking a real close look at, uh, you know, the last 30 days. In order to, in order to you know, take this fight to where it needs to be. Craig Varoga, president of the Patriot Majority PAC, uh, which as a uh, progressive PAC uh, has a deliberately right-wing sounding name, I'm guessing, to make a point about well, patriotism. <laughs> no, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's not right-wing at all. We actually think that patriotism is something which, you know, not only is mainstream, it's the tradition of America. And we think what has made this country strong is, is embracing, you know, our heritage, is embracing all the people uh, who, uh, you, know, you know, can make this country stronger in the coming years. And it's, you know, whether it's schools, whether it's health care, whether it's jobs, I mean, our patriotism duty is to advance those things and it's not it is not you know to uh, undo social security and health care and all those other radical ideas that Sharon Angle and others have 
Craig Verroga, president of the Patriot Majority yes. PAC. Craig, thanks very much okay, for joining thank us. You. Nice I'm to meet you. I'm very happy to be here. Thanks.